welcome back. So temperatures were on their way up as we made our way through the day today with those high temperatures into the lower 40s. We have since stayed mild at 38 degrees. Now we start out with mostly sunny skies, turn mostly cloudy, dealing with a few snow showers across portions of the viewing area. But that westerly wind is pretty strong out there. So uh, we will have uh, things drying out. Winds westerly around 21 to 33 miles per hour and the dew point of 16 degrees in Scotts Bluff. Uh, temperatures around the region look like this. So the coolest air into our eastern counties, upper 20s at Gordon, Oshkosh, 32 at Alliance, and 37 out towards Shadron. A uh, little warmer with that westerly wind out toward the I-25 corridor, including a 32 at Wheatland and Chugwater. Across our Nebraska counties, winds right now around 15 to 25 miles per hour, and uh, they get to around uh, uh, 20 to 30 miles per hour as you make your way into portions of southeastern Wyoming. Here's where some of the strongest wind gusts are as you make your way from Cheyenne points off to the north and to the west. We're running into wind gusts right now between 40 and 50 miles per hour, and some of that activity is getting into our Nebraska County, including a wind gust right now 30 to 35 miles per hour in the Scotts Bluff area. Wind chill values actually not that bad right now, especially across Nebraska, around 25 to 30 degrees. But as you make your way out toward the Laramie area, wind chill of only 10 with the cold air out in that direction. We are still dealing, even with that westerly wind, of some uh, with some snow showers, especially out towards Shatter and Gordon and east of Alliance or east of Scotts Bluff, west of Alliance. Don't think this is going to last very long. That westerly flow is very dry, so you can see we're starting to have a decrease in the clouds. Clear Clear skies off to the west of I-25. We think that's going to be our story as we go through later on this evening. High pressure to our south in charge of our forecast, but we do have a tight gradient with the wind approaching this cold front here. This first system is going to miss us off to the north. We're keeping our eyes on this secondary system that will give us some more snow shower activity as we go through the day on Thursday. So we'll keep the mainly clear skies through the overnight. Watch out for that strong westerly wind. Temperatures staying mild because of it, as we'll be into the upper 20s. Uh, we will have a good amount of sunshine tomorrow, maybe a few more passing clouds. Wednesday's high is near 40 degrees, and then here come the clouds in the much cooler air ahead of our next system. We start off Thursday into the mid to upper teens, and snow works in from west to east across the viewing area. We could have uh, several hours of some very light snow with some light accumulations possible as temperatures really on their way down, that strong northerly wind. High temperatures only into the teens and 20s as we go through Thursday. Finally, that system starts to work its way out by the evening. Here's what it looks like on the wide maps. Now, we will have that low pressure system skirt us off to the north. That actually keeps us in a little bit of a warm sector for the day tomorrow. But this low is going to take the same track as the low earlier in the week, pumping in cool air with periods of light snow, mainly for Thursday. And then the core of cool air is going to be over us as we approach and then go through the weekend. So high 39 tomorrow and 19 on Thursday. Uh, we could keep some remnant snow showers Friday through Sunday. 22 on Friday, 8 is all we do on Saturday, and then 15, your high Sunday and Monday, drying out and gradually warming next week. Partly cloudy skies by next Tuesday and a high of 28. Lauren? Thanks, Justin. A new report from the College Investor found nationwide out-of-state students pay. In this Watching Your Wallet, consumer investigator Rachel DePampa talks to an expert about the pros and cons of going to